Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much um, for sharing the video, supporting the channel. Our channel is growing so much and there's so many people that are resonating with the videos, which is truly a blessing. And I know y'all probably get tired of me saying that, but I really am appreciating you so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video also if you are uh, if you've been watching my videos for a long a while now I have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl is about to upload the next video also if you feel like you are comfortable enough please drop me a line I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact to give and impact your life and head you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video is just gave you a uh, good vibes or good info you know you would love to share with a family or friend and even if it's, you know, a, a empath that's going through some difficult times right now and needs some validation and confirmation to let them know if they're going down the right path or not and what to look for, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share in your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support towards me and the channel. It is so greatly appreciated. Y'all make me feel hum so humble and blessed. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content in my video. And today, let me see which one. Oh, yes, Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, we're on the edge of a breakthrough. Keep shining. You know, it's just like like I've said before, we're going through so, 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 so much. You know, I've y'all drop me lines if I'm not doing councilments and path councilments you know giving people you know things to look for or trying to give them guidance towards their life path or you know just giving them some encouragement words you know there's, there's nothing wrong with that you know there's times where we need someone to talk to to have that listening ear you know to have an empathic heart you know we're always so quick to have people come to us about things that we need to be heard as well you know because it can come to high tides times oh jesus trying times especially for us Hayokas. and it's like empaths go through it too but it's just like with Hayokas because we're so difficult with things we we have that complex mind complex character where we just go all out and it's just like like I said in my other video like there's been so many signs like especially when I'm going through stuff because so many things like I'm pushing out so much positivity but I have to keep telling myself when ishy stuff come back when you get that ishy stick you have to know when you're doing some positive situations i mean you're you're doing some positive awareness you're you're pushing positivity out there devil don't like that god don't i mean not god but uh darkness don't like that so you're gonna have to have balance it, we're, like i said before we're in the middle of a war zone smack dead in the middle of it between god being on one side and devil being on the other and it's like automatically God gonna win anyway. I, I mean, shoot, I got my bids on God. I ain't got time for that, you know, the other one that's going around. But it's just like when you know you're on the edge of a breakthrough towards something, things will get harder for you. You know, God puts us in the midst of a, a battle. This is not our battle, but it's his battle. But he puts us smack dead in the battle for that, for us to be able to get the knowledge we need to get you know set free the demons that we deal with every day you know because sometimes we can be hard on ourselves and blame ourselves for allowing things to go on for so long and you just need to forgive yourself for these things being able to see the signs and the synchronicities and things that are you know gravitating towards your way you know energy that's coming towards your way you know your circle is getting more positive that's it's just like because i had so many drama dramatic people in my life it you know a few years back and it took me to have to go through this spiritual awakening for me to start looking at people looking at my life a totally different way like you cannot keep constantly going through stuff like this you have too much drama in your life you know even when it doesn't have nothing to do with you you're drawn into it and it was just like you know I look at my life my kids were like mom do you ever hang out with nobody most of the time I see 
either you're sending emails to somebody or you talking to somebody video chat or you know you're texting somebody i said i don't have anybody in my town that i hang out with most anybody that i talk to is either y'all or i have different friends that i talk to like overseas um matter of fact in canada you know and all these different people that i that uh are my extended family but it's a blessing because you know you're on something good because you're gravitating towards people that are on the same level as you that resonate they're going through pretty much not the same thing but they've been through you know different abuses you know dealing with people that have put you in predicaments that you know could really have gave you a mental breakdown and it's like when you see yourself growing you see yourself healing even though there's times where it felt like you want you didn't want to wake up the next day I, I was just like that just a day or two ago today I didn't want to live anymore you know not like I was going to do anything crazy to me but it was just like when you're tired of feeling everything especially when you're an empath it's like you're feeling everything and i'm just like i just don't want to care anymore i almost fell off the wagon today like i was gonna go find me some weed somewhere because i just didn't want to care even though i knew it was an escape i just didn't want to care at that point in time but it was like everything was cut off for me and it was just like no you're gonna you're gonna feel this you're gonna go through the motions you're gonna let go and you're going to burn this off like you know burn the fumes off of your life because you deserve way better than what you're giving yourself credit for even though people might not give you that validation you have to be able to validate yourself i validate myself all the time but it's just like times you you know you can be your own worst critic at times i just did a video about that we can be our own worst critic we we sometimes fall short and even though the blessings come in our life it might not be the blessings that we were looking for you know but you have to be grateful for the things that come into your life even when they're just little because when universe and god sees that you're grateful for these things that's coming into your life you know that lets them know hey he or she is ready for these bigger things to come in and then when you start you, you know it's just like it goes like this it, it magnetized by every blessing and everything that you do even if it's a kind word or you know telling somebody you're praying for them or you know thinking for yourself in a better light you know giving yourself that 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 pep talk you know putting encouragement in your life as well as the next person you know because you never know what somebody's going through you never know what story they got to tell you never know what they went through after they walked out the door in the morning you know and it was just like you know going through the stuff that i'm going through it, it was like i had to go talk to some people go pay some bills today and it, you can really tell on my face because i was really i'm really the chipper one I'm like hey girl i hate this you know i'm talking and i'm just coming in i'm like damn i forgot my sunglasses because i didn't want to give nobody no eye contact and it was just like you know are you okay i was like it was my eyeliner running or something you know and they were like no i sound good and they were like you lying <laughs> you lying i know when you lying you know and it's just like you'll be telling me you're going through you're you're okay but i know you're going through some stuff and they kept on telling me rosalyn it's gonna be okay you know better days are coming i said yeah i keep hearing that you know blessings are coming yeah i'll so keep hearing that too you know but i have to be grateful for the little things that come into my life whether it's people whether it's you know views um subs is just being able to give out love even when i'm not feeling love around me at times i you know i try to sometimes put my my feelings aside and go help other people because that makes me feel good within that that situation being able to give somebody the encouraging words and then when i'm spitting out the encouraging words i'm encouraging myself at the same time so it's just like when you know you're going towards a breakthrough things will come at you all kind of different ways yeah i mean i was almost slick to go into road rage today so i gonna quick turn you know and almost you know this other person was driving fast and they had to slam on their brakes and i'm right behind them i'm like whoa hold up now i was already just in a car accident a few months ago and i got blamed for it, even though this woman was on her cell phone and smacked right there in my car and next you know my insurance is got high and i was like i ready i was ready to peel her scalp back y'all know i could just say that miss but i say i had to pray for that woman because it's like she got insurance money out of my insurance company and then she didn't even come to court 
you know, she knew what she was doing. I even told the officer, didn't I tell you I didn't do, I didn't hit that woman's car because I guarantee you if I was one hit her car, don't you think she would have been here? She got what she wanted. But then she ended up having a warrant out for arrest and falsifying evidence and all that crazy stuff. So it's just like, but I'm still paying for those situations. And I'm just like, God, I don't understand this. You know, I don't understand your way, but, you know, I know you're trying to, I know it goes bigger than what me, you know, uh, than I can ever realize and bigger than what I can expect. So going through all these different situations, knowing that, you know, you have to be grateful for the little things. You have to pay attention to the signs that's coming towards you. It could be a post. It could be like if you watch different YouTube videos other than mine, it's just certain ones that'll even, you could be scrolling and next thing you know, you'll see something that stick out that you know resonates with the things you're talking you know you're going through so it's just like with all this stuff going on like i told y'all the other day we're on a spiritual warfare so we are having stuff come at us so bad that's the reason why we're going through so many downloads so many upgrades so many shifts so many things because it's just the fact is they're preparing us for something and for us to be able to go through what we got to go through we have to be able to let go of all these other you know, things that is not positively serving us, stuff that we cannot change, stuff that it don't even need to be in our life anymore. It's just like you're moving on to bigger and better things. You can't go to that next step if you're still holding back the stuff like two chapters ago. And I have to keep telling myself that. But I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to y'all. I hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend. I can't believe today's Friday already. I'm going to give a post notification shout out to Neil511 Power. I think that's it. Power. Power power uh sydney and and mimi b what's up girl i missed you and i hope everything is great and congratulations on your son son getting ready to graduate and tell your daughter i said happy birthday and much love to y'all so now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing better days are coming towards you because i pray for y'all each and every day and i love you from the bottom of my heart and send out some good words towards people send out as much positivity and love as you possibly can you never know what somebody's going through and that kind of work can really go so far so um like and subscribe drop me a line give me a thumbs up share and i will see you on my next video much love peace and be wild